Hi, I'm Larry Karnas, and I'm going to be your instructor for Introduction to VMware ESX and vCenter Course Introduction. VMware ESX and vCenter are registered trademarks of VMware. Course Description In this course, we'll talk about how to overcome the inefficiencies of legacy server deployment by building private clouds using VMware ESX and vCenter. We'll see how to install ESX. We'll see how to create virtual switches. We'll also see how to connect to shared storage. We'll build virtual machines. And we'll add vCenter management. We'll explain the many significant benefits of virtualization. We'll install ESX according to best practices. We'll define and use network attached storage data stores. We'll create virtual machines, install operating systems in them, and then applications. We'll configure and manage local storage. And we'll create virtual switches and physical LAN segments. We will install, configure, and administer VMware vCenter. We assume that you have user, operator, or administrator level experience on common modern operating systems. We assume that you have experience installing and configuring and managing operating systems, that you've worked with storage, and you are network savvy. This is useful, but not completely required. We assume you have basic familiarity with PC server hardware, disk partitioning, and IP addressing. In this course, we will cover legacy versus virtual deployment. We'll see vSphere cloud computing for private clouds. We'll see ESX and ESXi, first as an overview, and then we'll see how to install ESX. We'll see post-installation steps. We'll get an introduction to virtual networking. We'll see standard network vSwitches. We'll see network attached shared storage. We'll see virtual machine hardware. We'll then move on to see how to install an operating system into a virtual machine. We'll see vCenter first from an overview perspective. We'll see how to install vCenter and then we'll take a first tour through vCenter so that you can familiarize yourself with its features and functions. We'll see how to add additional features to vCenter and that's our course. So if you have questions, Please use the questions and comments box at any time. Now let's get started.